Imagine losing the ability to walk, run, or even move a limb. For centuries, this was seen as a permanent loss. But now, thanks to incredible advancements in prosthetic technology, losing a limb doesn't mean losing mobility. Today, we're exploring the cutting-edge world of modern prosthetics, where science, robotics, and human ingenuity come together to create limbs that not only replace what's lost, but even surpass it. So, how do these artificial limbs work? What makes them move, grip, and even feel like a real part of the body? Let's dive deep into the mechanics behind modern prosthetics. Our story begins in ancient Egypt, where rudimentary wooden toes and bronze legs marked the earliest attempts at prosthetics. Fast forward to the Renaissance, and the legendary French surgeon Ambroise Paré developed mechanical limbs for soldiers. But the true leap came in the 20th century when prosthetic technology evolved alongside the rising number of amputees from the world wars. And today, we're witnessing the dawn of bionics, where prosthetics aren't just replacing limbs, they're enhancing them. Bionic limbs that move like human ones, myoelectric technology that uses muscle signals to command motion, and soon, brain-computer interfaces. Let's get into the nuts and bolts of how these incredible devices really work. Modern prosthetics are marvels of engineering. To understand how they work, we need to break them down into four essential parts. The limb, made from lightweight, durable materials like carbon fiber and titanium, Prosthetics are engineered for strength without being heavy. These materials let users walk, run, grip, and even lift weights. The socket. This is where the magic of custom fitting happens. The socket is molded perfectly to fit each individual's limb. Comfort is key here. Too tight, and you'll get friction burns. Too loose, and stability is a nightmare. The latest designs even include gel liners and vacuum systems for a more secure fit. The suspension system. Without a good suspension system, a prosthetic limb won't stay in place. Vacuum-assisted suspension and locking mechanisms make sure your artificial limb feels like a part of you, even during intense physical activity. The joints and actuators. Think of these as the prosthetic's muscles. Motorized joints allow for natural movements, bending a knee or flexing a wrist, while tiny motors or actuators deliver the power. The combination of strength, precision, and flexibility allows modern prosthetics to do things that were once unthinkable. But what's even more incredible is how they're controlled. Here's where things get seriously cool. Enter myoelectric prosthetics, devices that respond to your body's natural electrical signals. It all starts with electromyography, or EMG for short. Electrodes placed inside the socket detect tiny muscle signals from your remaining limb. When you think about moving your arm or hand, those electrical impulses fire, and sensors in the prosthetic pick them up. The signals are processed by a microprocessor, which acts as the brain of the device. It translates those signals into commands that make actuators, or motors, spring into action, allowing you to move your prosthetic limb as if it were your own flesh and bone. But the future of prosthetics goes beyond muscle signals. We're now entering the age of bionic limbs, where artificial intelligence and neural technology are pushing boundaries we never thought possible. Artificial Intelligence Today's most advanced prosthetics use AI to predict your next movement. That's right. AI algorithms analyze your motion patterns, adjusting the limb's response in real time. So, as you walk or run, the AI is constantly tweaking your limb's positioning, giving you a smooth, natural movement. Sensory Feedback Imagine being able to feel through a prosthetic. Well, with haptic sensors, that dream is becoming reality. 
These sensors send information back to the brain, allowing users to experience pressure, texture, and even temperature. Although we're just at the beginning, the implications are huge. Brain-controlled prosthetics. And then we have brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs. Imagine bypassing the need for muscle signals altogether, controlling your prosthetic limb purely with your thoughts. By implanting tiny electrodes in the brain, BCIs can turn thought into action with remarkable precision. This could be a game-changer for those with severe mobility impairments. But prosthetics aren't just about restoration, they're about enhancement. Some prosthetics are designed to go beyond human limits, giving wearers more strength, endurance, or precision than a biological limb could. Imagine swapping out your everyday arm for one that can lift 50 pounds with ease, or switching from your regular leg to a running blade built for sprinting. Modern prosthetics are modular, customizable for different activities, and pushing the boundaries of what humans are capable of. Let's talk about people whose lives have been transformed by this incredible technology. Take Hugh Herr, a climber who lost both legs below the knee in a mountaineering accident. Today, Hugh is a pioneer in the prosthetics industry, designing bionic limbs that allow him to return to climbing with even greater precision. Then there's Tilly Lockie, a young girl who lost her hands to meningitis. Thanks to open bionics, Tilly now uses fully customizable bionic arms that are as stylish as they are functional. These real-life stories prove that prosthetics are about much more than just mobility. They're about empowerment and independence. Of course, it's not all perfect. The biggest challenge? Cost. Advanced prosthetics can cost tens of thousands of dollars, making them inaccessible to many. And the learning curve can be steep. It takes time and physical therapy to adapt to these high-tech devices. In developing countries, access to prosthetics is even more limited. Although organizations are working hard to create affordable alternatives, the gap is still significant. The future of prosthetics is exciting. We're on the brink of a revolution where these devices will not only restore lost abilities, but enhance what's humanly possible. From AI and sensory feedback to brain-computer interfaces, the innovations on the horizon are truly game-changing. And as technology continues to evolve, the hope is that these life-changing devices will become more accessible to people worldwide. So, the next time you see someone with a prosthetic limb, remember, they're not just getting back what they lost, they're stepping into a whole new world of possibilities. Thanks for watching. If you found this video inspiring, be sure to hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of cutting edge design and engineering. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an episode.